What's going on folks? Today we're talking about the promo stamped stuff from Pokemon 151, the Scarlet Violet first holiday set. Basically, we've got the trio of starters with different stamps on them. So we're going to go over them. We're going to go over some other ones that might exist that we don't know about yet. But for now, we've got the Bulbasaur with the actual 151 stamp on it. That was a US exclusive to Best Buy stores. You could only find them in the United States, but most stores didn't have them either. So if you were lucky enough to go to a store, they only had a chance that they had them. Kind of weird, kind of not consistent all across the board for the Best Buys. But yeah, cool card. Love when they have the set logo stamp on a card. So that's probably my favorite out of these ones. Next up, we've got the Charmander with the GameStop stamp. So typically every set we see a GameStop stamp. Sometimes we see an EB game stamp. We're gonna get into that in a minute. But yeah, this one you could find in Canada and the US. And then you had the Squirtle from Pokemon Center. Now we talked about this before and I thought it was going to be super readily available, similar to the Lechonk from Scarlet Violet Base. But it turns out it wasn't. The Squirtle was only available for a certain product and at a certain time. So I thought it was gonna be for all 151 products, but it ended up only being for the Mew Ultra Premium collections. And it ended up selling out really fast. And when it came back in stock, they didn't offer the Squirtle as a promo anymore. So now these things have shot up crazy in price because it really was so limited. There weren't a lot of them. It went out of stock pretty quick and it just never came back. Um, so first we're going to take a look at the official post. Usually they put it on Pokemon.com, but for this set they didn't. It was just Instagram and Twitter that they posted to. But the official Pokemon TCG account posted that you could get these promos, so we knew those existed. But if you look, they're saying it's also going to be available at EB Games in Australia and New Zealand. So. There's the possibility of seeing a Charmander EB game stamped promo. I'm assuming it's going to be Charmander because usually it's whatever one they do. The GameStop stamp too, they do a similar thing to the EB games. It's not like they would take the Bulbasaur and put an EB game stamp on it sort of thing. So yeah, we can only hope for that one. Uh, then one other thing we're quickly going to check our eBay listings for these Pokemon Center stamped Squirtles just to take a look. So the first one we got here, $123 Canadian plus shipping. Then we have some that are going on bids. Um, they've got lots of bids on them already. I'm trying to find some more with firm prices just to see what people are really listing them at right now. But the bids are going nuts. Uh, an Ace graded 10 going for $250. Yeah, a lot of these are bids. Uh, 164 plus 20 bucks shipping. Crazy. This one's a little better. 129, 126, again, $20 shipping sort of stuff. They're just going nuts. These things all the way to the moon. It's crazy. So yeah, the Squirtles, the Squirtle game. People want them. People want to master 151. What can you do? Here's the other thing. This is is what I'm speculating. The GameStop one, this Charmander we have, we know for sure. This EB Game Stamp one, I believe that is going to exist at some point because it literally said it in the official communication and usually the sets end up getting them just a while after. And then here's the one that, not 100% sure, but definitely a possibility because we've seen it with the last few sets. Pokemon doesn't really mention a Europe exclusive, but they end up throwing a stamp onto that card anyway. So like we saw with the Tinkaton from Paldia Evolved, or like we saw with the Umbreon from Obsidian Flames. So just to reiterate, the only one that is confirmed right now is this GameStop Charmander, the EB Games, and the 151 stamped one. These are both just me making crude images right now completely done at home. These aren't official pictures. It's all Photoshop, okay? But it's possible, so keep your eyes peeled. That's all I'm trying to say. That's it. Um, I have a good feeling that we are going to see these two, though. I definitely think it's a possibility. 
Um, yeah, there's some other wacky stuff with the master set for 151. If you consider the different hollow foil patterns, which I talked about in a different video, there's also a few promo Pokemon like um, Electabuzz and Abra from the promo boxes that have two possible variations to the hollow foil. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Maybe I'll make a video on that at some point. It's pretty niche though, but I love collecting the niche things because then it's like you have this collection that not too many people know about. Very research driven. All right, that's going to be it for me for this one. Hope you got some useful information. Hope you laughed, loved, lived. Uh, that's it. I got nothing else. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya. All right, allow me to interject here, folks. Between filming the video and posting the video, we ended up finding that the EB Games Charmander did, in fact, exist. So check it off your list. Right now, it's super expensive. Hopefully, we see the prices drop. Um, but we got some people selling them for like a hundred dollars, uh, some people selling them for like three for two hundred, so that's not terrible, but it's kind of crazy. This one's selling ten for five hundred dollars. These are all Canadian prices, by the way, so uh, effectively like fifty bucks each, so that's not terrible, but you might get slapped with like crazy duties if you live in Canada. But yeah, let's take a look. Uh, I'll click into that. Literally. It exists. The thing has appeared out of nowhere. So yeah, now we just gotta keep an eye out for the 151 uh, set logo stamp one. Maybe that'll appear out of Europe somewhere. But yeah, now we've got Charmander from GameStop and EB Games. So master setters, let your head explode. Uh, honestly, you gotta keep an eye out with every set. They pretty much do all the promos, except for Tinkerton EB Games. Who knows if that's gonna come. But everything else is like, yo, here's your, uh, here's your GameStop, here's your EB Games, here's your set logo, then possibly some other specific ones. But yeah, cool. That's it for the uh, little adage to the video. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.